in this video, I'm looking at an example test question from the second to last slide, lecture slide from chapter five. It's a Hess's law type question where I am given a reaction between CLF and F2 gases to form CLF3 gas and asked to solve for the enthalpy value for that reaction given three equations that are shown below that I've taken the liberty of numbering one, two, and three. And those are thermochemical equations with the associated enthalpy values shown. The strategy for these Hess's law problems is to target the reactions that are given to you in your toolbox and match up things that are in the equation up top that we're trying to build. So the first thing I'll look for is CLF. It only appears in one of my equations, and that's equation number two. I don't have to worry about it coming from one or three. I know it has to come from two. Okay? But equation two gives me two CLF, and I only want one of them. Okay? So I'm going to rewrite equation two, but I'm going to half everything. Okay? So that's two down to one CLF gas. Now half an O2 gas, making half a Cl2O gas and half an OF2 gas. And anything that I do to the equation, I also have to do to the enthalpy value. So this was 205.6 before, but I half that as well and make that a positive 102.8 kilojoules. That gives me my CLF that I'm looking for. Next thing that I'll target is my F2. F2 only appears in equation one, but not only is it doubled, it also only appears as a product. Okay, Notice here, it's a product. I need it as a reactant. So when I rewrite equation one here, I have to do two things. I have to flip the equation around and make the reactants products, products, reactants, and I have to half everything. Okay. So that's going to give me half an O2 gas, plus now a single F2 gas going to make a single OF2 gas. And those two changes that I made to the equation, I also make to the enthalpy value. Okay, So it was negative 49.4. It becomes positive because I flip, flipped the reaction. And then I also have to half it. Okay? So negative 49.4, I flipped the reaction, so I flipped the sign. I halved the reaction, so I halved the value, finishes at 24.7 kilojoules. That gives me my F2, a single one where I want it as a reactant. And lastly, I'll target my CLF3, which I want as a product. It only appears in reaction three as a reactant, so I have to flip reaction three. Half a Cl2O gas plus three halves OF2 gas going to CLF3 gas plus O2 gas. My delta H value, which was positive 266.7 before, now becomes negative 266.7. Okay. So now I know I have everything where I want it, my CLF, my F2, my CLF3. Now let's simplify this reaction because I got some things added in here that I don't want in my final answer. If it appears on the left and the right side, I can simplify it down if it has the same identity and the same state. So let's see what meets that criteria. Looking, and this is why I try and line my arrows up when I rewrite my reactions because it makes it easier to compare reactants and products. So we see things like this half a Cl2O. Reactant and a product goes away completely. Okay. I have now some things that match on both sides, but the numbers are a little weird. Like an OF2 I have in these reactions, and I have it over here as well. And O2 I have here and here and here. But that's okay, right? This whole O2, one O2, can take out both of those halves of an O2. That's all right. Right? Think about those two halves as combining to one on the reactant side. That eliminates the one on the product side. Just like over here, three halves OF2, right? that's one and one half. So three halves 
is equal to one and one half. And sure enough, everything that we're left behind with is what we're looking for for the final answer in the equation we are trying to build. So to solve for the enthalpy value in this case, we just have to take the three values that we rewrote, okay? Because we had to account for the changes. So using those new values, we have positive 102.8 plus 24.7 plus a negative 266.7, okay? Makes my final enthalpy value negative 139.2 kilojoules. And that negative enthalpy value means that this is an exothermic reaction.